This equation is a very useful one to understand in algebra. It has a special name, the parent quadratic. But even if you don't know the first thing about quadratics, you can graph this using a table of values. So that means I'm going to pick some x values that are close to a 0, and I'm going to see what their corresponding y value is. Remember, I'm just picking these. I could use other ones as well. So negative 2 and the corresponding y value to that would be to square it. So if x is negative 2, y is negative 2 squared, which is 4. If, if x is negative 1, y is negative 1 squared, negative 1 times negative 1, which is a positive 1, and so on. Now I have a table of x and y values that relate potential values for the x, the input or the element of the domain, with, potent, with their corresponding values of y, which is in the range. Okay, so I'm going to graph the point negative 2, 4. So on my graph, I would go back 1, 2, and up 4, and put a point there. Same thing at negative 1, positive 1, and at 0, 0, again at 1, 1, and finally at 2, 4. Now, to fill out the graph, I can connect this shape, which is going to be more of a U than a V, because the, um, the points are going up at an accelerated rate. First, it only goes up by 1, and it's going up by 3, and it's going to keep going up at an accelerated rate. Because this graph is going to keep going beyond where we have graphed it, for example, after negative 3, the square would be 9, so be the next point over here, similarly over here, but we need to put the arrows on to indicate it's going to continue to go on. Now, our original task of graphing is complete, but I wanted to leave you with a couple thoughts. First, the name of this type of graph is a parabola. It's a rich subject studying parabolas, but I'm just letting you know that this sort of U-shaped uh, shape is called a parabola, and part of the reason it's called the parent is because this is sort of the, the standard, the basic type of parabola uh, after which all the others are different types of transformations. And I'm just going to leave by reiterating that anytime you want to graph something and you're not quite sure how, you can just make a table, pick a few x values, evaluate those x values in your equation or function, and find out what y values correspond. Then you can graph them and see what it looks like. Uh, hope that helps, and good luck. Thank you.